guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, Jared is going to be eating tons of chocolate chips in the freezer because he's hungry. Tons of viral TikTok hacks and anything else like experiments, anything we can find on TikTok, and we're gonna be testing them out to see which ones are real and which ones are fake, and having fun with it. Make sure to check out Taylor's channel where we'll be doing even more viral hacks. All right, so for our first hack, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need some eggs and a fork. Get a fork, a bad fork that we don't use very often. We use all the forks. Let's go get a fork. Let's go get a fork. All right, so supposedly, if you put an egg in salt water after rubbing a battery on the egg, a fork inside of the water will bend and like break. So, that's what we're gonna test out. All right, so, we got this egg here. We're gonna rub it with the battery. Oh, shoot, we gotta put, okay, hold on. We gotta put salt in the water. There's, there's no way this is gonna work. There, I, I don't know how much I believe this. Do we need to mix around the salt? I don't that's, know how much, that's probably enough. I don't know how much salt we need. Look how dark it's turning. I don't know how much salt we need. Okay, go. Good. Mix it around. You should drink this after. Okay. So, when we do that, rub this egg with this battery. This is not gonna work. Are you, what, do they use a certain battery? And then, put this egg, the battery in. Oh, you put the battery You put the battery in there. And then, this looks so What's the egg have to do with it? I have no clue. <laughs> I'm going off of what this TikTok no, act said. I don't know. I thought they put the egg inside of it. And then, apparently, if you put this in, it bends. <laughs> you look and nothing happened. Uh, hold on. We need to review the footage of this TikTok real quick. Rub the eggs on the battery a few times and throw them into salt water. Put a fork in. The fork bent instantly. Well, that one failed epically, so on to the next one. This next hack is actually super important, and I think this one's gonna actually work. When you're, when you're washing your dishes, right? Washing, and you finally get to the spoon, watch what happens every time. And then you get water everywhere, and it shoots out everywhere, and it gets you all wet. But, listen to this. If instead of putting in the spoon like this, you go like this, and you wash it off, like that, and then boom, water's in the spray everywhere, like this. Hack. Duh. I don't even know what to call that. Hack win, it's not a fail hack. On to the next one. All right, for this next hack, apparently you can make fake abs. You don't have to go to the gym anymore, you don't have to work out, you don't have to eat less. You can just draw and make fake abs. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So obviously, I mean, I already have these luscious abs, but if we do this. Wait, what? These, you see these abs? Huh? But, if you put contour on it, it'll look more defined, you know? See these apps? It'll be more defined. <laughs> Before picture. All right, are you ready? Make me ripped. Done. You see that? You see those apps? My hair's so squishy though. What do you mean? It's rock hard, rock solid. I'm just not flexing right now, so. Like when I, when I flex, look. It, I mean. <laughs> Let's go see what my uh, mom thinks of my new and improved body. Hey mom, what do you think of my new and improved body? Um, that looks fake. 
Doesn't? Look how real that looks. Wait, what did you use to do that? Taylor. Is that? Taylor's makeup? Is that my makeup? Maybe. That goes on your face, not your well, body. Uh, but, but look at it. It looks fake. My grandpa would appreciate it. Grandpa, what do you think of my oh, new abs? You like them? You've been working. I have been working. You almost look like me. <laughs> yeah. You know, like the, the six pack and the massive pecs? I like that. Well, obviously I'm giving this one a thumbs up of a hack, so... Everyone should try this and then we'll all just be ripped. For this next one, I'm gonna need a backpack and Taylor. No. Yes. Come on. This one's gonna be a little tough because it requires a little bit of skill and I don't know how much skill she has. But it's gonna be really cool. So let's try it out. All right, got my backpack. Now it's time to try this out. So what we're gonna do is Taylor's gonna put this backpack on her legs a certain way and then I'm gonna put the backpack on like a regular backpack and then it's like an automatic like piggyback, you know? Because then it makes it easier. She doesn't have to hold on to me. She has to balance, but I can give you a piggyback ride without any problem. So let's do it and see how well it works. All right, Taylor, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna step in like this and just like, put it like this and I'm gonna wear your backpack, okay? So you're gonna have it like this. I'm gonna put my arms in there. Okay, this stuff's gonna work. I'm gonna put my arms in there. Everyone, can you go back there? Okay? This is gonna go. What's going on? Why are you find out? Alright, put it back on. Got it? You're too tall. Oh my goodness, no, I don't wanna do this. Don't. No, I don't wanna do this. Don't forget. Duncan, away. Ready? Hold on. No, no. You got it. Let's see how strong Steven is. Oh my God, <laughs> All right, that first try was tough because uh, somebody was a little scared. But we're gonna try to get with the chair this time, so maybe she won't be as scared. Ready? No. Ow. No, because I don't have anywhere to like put my legs, so it's wrong. Let me get my arm in. I can't stand that tall when you're sitting down. Okay, that's fine. Don't stand tall. It's okay. Don't stand tall. I'm gonna get on first, okay? Oh my gosh! No, I don't like this. Back. Oh, you're leaning so far backwards. Lean forward. Lean forward. I am leaning forward. Stand up a little bit. Stand up a little bit. Stand up a little bit. Stop. I can't. You're Ready? You're pointing down. No, 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 no
last twice as long. And it can be used as double purpose and you can put it on a toilet paper thing and then boom, We're done. extra toilet paper. We're done. No, my, my ice cream thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a successful hack. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. That hack is approved. All right, for this hack, we have some hard boiled eggs in here. Oh, that is hot. And we need to put some ice in here. Once the hard boiled eggs cool down, you need to use a mason jar, pick up an egg, put on the lid, shake it up with some water in there, and then the shell should just come right off. So, we'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna throw some more ice cubes in here to let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna try to dip in and grab one. And when we shake it, it should hopefully get the shell off. Oh, hold on, look at that. Okay, open it up. Shake it a little bit more. That's good. You just... And I just destroyed it. It was perfect, and I just destroyed it. Well, you got another egg in there, so you got one more try. Okay. Maybe on. not so... Aggressive? Maybe? Aggressive. At the end there. All right, we're gonna try it again, but we also figured out that Taylor might have ruined it and didn't do the hard boiled egg right. I didn't do it for three extra minutes. Yeah, we won't shake it as hard this time, because I think it was pretty good at first. Not hard shakes, but a good amount of shakes. Because I want this to work. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pull this out and see how it worked. It's, it's not. I mean, it's not like what happened in the video. It just slipped right off. Kinda, it's very weak, I guess. Ah, oh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. No, that's not the part that made it so it's not cooked, it's the yellow stuff. I blame it on you. This one could be either a user error from us, or the hack just doesn't work, but we're moving on either way. Now for my final hack. What we're gonna be doing is cooking some pizza, but in a very interesting way. All right, I got my pizza here, and the way we are going to be cooking this is with an iron. Because apparently this will work. So we're gonna try it out. So here's our stove top iron. Let's set this on top. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And let it cook. You should have made it the way so that those are over there. So that it. That's what I normally get to go right away. And guess what? The sides are still long. Now you wait. All right, let's check it out real quick. Oh, it's actually getting a lot warmer on the bottom. The top, so it's not like hot yet. The top over here, the cheese is melting a tiny bit, but it definitely needs to be on there for a little bit longer. I have an idea, we're gonna try something. Let's try to get this uh, cheese to melt a little bit faster. Let it cook. All right, let's test this out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that works amazingly. I'm gonna do this front part a little bit, but that's actually like, look at that. This is working a lot better than I thought it would. All right, it is now time for the moment of truth. Let's see this thing. Oh yeah. That looks like a good pizza. It's not super hot, but we're gonna taste test this, you ready? You know what? Don't bite. It's just a pizza. That's pretty good. I actually like that hack. Works perfectly fine. We could leave it in there a little bit longer to make it nice and hot, but it works really well. Well guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. So make sure you guys subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. And also, make sure to check out Taylor's video because she did even more hacks and just a little sneak peek. We got all these things right here that we're gonna use hacks with. So, make sure to go check that out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.